and it like gunned it the second I got on. If I waited another car, I wouldn't have made this. Stoby Jim Kenobi on a bunch of wheels here. Less fortunate event, this train is now going to uh, Sioux City, Iowa, which is really on the way. I have to figure out some way to get from there to Chicago in 24 hours. It's nice scenery at least. Alright, so lots happened since. Uh, last night basically i got on that train in lincoln kind of gambling i knew there's a fork up ahead where the thing might go to sioux city but it was like there's no way to know and i think the the train i want doesn't run on sunday so the train did go north and now we're up here the train is stopped in fremont nebraska not much going on here and i've happened to know that in fremont uh, a different main line runs through Union Pacific. I'm going to switch trains because this is going to Sioux City. Things looking sprightly here. In the Fremont graveyard. Yeah, so I mean, I don't know if I'm just getting old or just getting tired of doing this. I mean, first I got the wrong train in Lincoln. Which is frustrating. And now I've just been walking. I mean, I've wa had to walk about two miles back from where that other train stopped to here, hoping to find where the Union Pacific is going to stop. And uh, I mean, this pack is heavy. There's mosquitoes. You know, I'm just getting fried out here. And I'm hoping for some luck. I need a t one train from here to Chicago. I'm supposed to be there tomorrow. And this is at least 500 miles away still. We got this coal load going through here. Supposedly the train stopped here. I don't know what's going on at all. So this is Fremont, Nebraska, which uh, like much of the rest of Nebraska is pretty much deserted and free of anything interesting and new. I mean, you can just see here, this is Memorial Day. There's absolutely nothing going on town at all. I don't know how stranded I am right now. I know there's train tracks and I've been hanging out over there. None of the trains are stopping and it's basically probably impossible to hitchhike out of here right now. Just completely deserted this town. Although it's nice that they put these flags up. Well some people 9 a.m. might seem a little early to get started here. I just, I don't know what else to do here. This is becoming grim here in Fremont, Nebraska. The good news, I gotta say for Nebraska, the beer store is usually pretty close to the train tracks. You got this green, actually it's a soybean processing facility here. Filling this car up with some kind of, I don't know, processed soy. They're at the ADM Fremont soy processing plant. Currently moving position here. It's a nice route to this leafy neighborhood. What I saw was all the trains, none of them were stopping at that crew office. They're all blitzing through. So what I think is going on is that well east, which is this direction, they're stopping down here. And that's, I saw crew vans going in that direction. So I'm walking down there right now in hopes to board a train going further east. The sun is about to set over the land of the Fremont, Nebraska here on Memorial Day. Looking like 
there's just nothing, I don't know, nothing doing. I think I'm in the right place. There's been some trains that have stopped, like this one. They're going west. Obviously, that doesn't help if you're trying to get to Chicago. Uh, and there's nothing else to do than just wait. There's no way to get Jake out of here. There's not a bus. There's not an Amtrak. There's not Interestingly enough, there's a lot of trains coming from the west that are branching off a ways down there. And there's a line to Council Bluffs, Iowa, Omaha Council Bluffs. And there's a lot of trains that are going that way. You, you just see them zooming past over there. It's There actually seems to be more going that way, which I'm kind of surprised by. Like, that's not the main track. That's kind of like a, a branch, a branch off. I mean, the main line to Chicago is right here. So, what's going on? It's the darkest hours of the night. Stowed the hobo here in a DPU on a coal train. Finally getting out of Fremont. I've been here way longer than I wanted to. I got my smartphone. The cars are marked NORX. The coal car, so I used Google and it says those are Northern Indiana Power Authority, which means this train's going to Chicago because there's a big junction ahead and this train should go the right direction. situation where you don't want to get too comfortable. I'm super fatigued. I've been on like a, you know, extremely grueling schedule without any real long periods of sleep. But the problem is that in these engines there's a good chance, well there's a fact that every day somebody comes in here and checks. And the card, there's an inspection card. Inspection card here, 30th, today's the 31st. So, I mean, if they're gonna come in here probably before Chicago. You know, don't get too comfy here. Regardless, I think I'm gonna have to get some sleep here. I have, the last, since leaving, I have not slept good at all because of this middle of the night schedule I've been following. If somebody walks in, I'm just gonna have to, may have to deal with it. I'm not, probably not gonna be able to get it on camera as well if somebody walks in to inspect the locomotive. So, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit of a risk. I've got to sleep, though. I cannot stay awake right now. Throw the hobo out here in the cornfields. Just popping up little shoots. That's all we have here, but in a couple months, that's going to be big, tall stalks. So somewhere in Iowa, it doesn't really matter. I mean, this could be Iowa or Nebraska. This train is super slow. Coal is the lowest priority. I think I've only gone about a hundred miles since I got train five hours ago. There's like a place to hide outside the train because sometimes they check the bathroom. But I'm looking up here. This is this is not looking like there's any cover. There's the crew office right there. There's a little suspense here. I mean, if they come in, they find me in the bathroom and they call the cops. I don't see how you're gonna hide in this town. I just don't see it. 
Fortunately, the train is past the downtown. If it stopped there, I mean, there'd be no escape. That guy's coming for the inspection. There's no way to even remotely not be do, to do anything but get in the, in the restroom. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure what to do. I don't know if I want the camera on if the guy's gonna walk in here. This is not, this is getting tenser and tenser every time because there's no freaking escape. The guy's in here. The guy is in the engine. They're gone. Yes. Yes. Just checked off. 31st. Midwest sunset out here. You know, the Midwest, it doesn't get as much credit as it could for scenery. I mean, you got marshes, that's nice. You got woods, there's a lot of woods. It's not just cornfields. All kinds of beautiful trees, wildlife, birds, everything out here. Passing through Clinton, this is some kind of monster processing plant for something. One of those standard huge plants you see out in the Midwest. You got the little pleasant town of Clinton here. I mean, whenever I think of Clinton, I don't, the name has kind of been besmirched for obvious reasons, but the town's, it's not too bad. I stopped here before. Pleasant, it's good for one day. There's this smell coming out of this plant. It smells like barley. And it smells like a brewery, and it's really making me want a beer. The beer store and all that stuff right over there. The old depot. Here's Clinton. Board it up. As always. This is it, folks. This is the big one. The mighty Mississippi. Oh, us.